What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Got a different style of video for you guys today. Right now I'm, I'm on my way driving down to Kentucky for the 127 yard sale. I'm up with my friends Kayla and John. We'll go picking together. It should be a great, great time. I try to make these trips happen at least once a month. I try to find a highway sale and I travel once a month to get there. And I get a lot of questions about people saying, is it worth it right now? Is it worth it with the gas prices? Is it so uh, I calculated my gas, my tolls, the food or whatever to Kentucky and back. And it's gonna cost me around $400 to go there. So that's not cheap, right? The goal of this video is to thrift my way down to Kentucky and make that $400. So that way I sort of like pay for the trip before I even get to Kentucky. So I'm making a couple rules for myself because I don't want to stay too long at thrift stores. The, the trip's already going to be long enough. So I'm putting a rule myself to not stay at one thrift store for more than 15 minutes. And also when I'm pulling over for a thrift store to use that time as well to to make it a bathroom break or a food break or a gas break or something like that so that I'm not just pulling over for to you to go thrifting. So I'm gonna put the number down here. So you guys will see how much money I need to make to break even. And hopefully that number becomes zero or becomes positive at the end. We, we, we will we will see. So right now it's seven in the morning. Uh, most thrift stores don't open until about 10 in the morning. So I'm gonna be driving for about three hours before I stop. So I'm guessing my first thrift store is gonna be somewhere in the middle of like nowhere, Maryland. I'm gonna take you guys along, make it a little vlog style video. I hope it's gonna be a little different than my usual, but I think you guys should still hopefully like it. So I live right on the border of Pennsylvania, Delaware, New Jersey. So whenever I'm taking a road trip, I always go down to Delaware and get gas here because it's about 30 cents cheaper than where I reside. So it's like 440 where I live, it's 417 right here. So I always get gas at Wawa. That way I can go inside, get myself some coffee, get myself some uh, practice sandwiches as well. And everybody's gonna be happy. My car's gonna be happy, I'm gonna be happy. It's gonna be a good time. Ouch. <laughs> they cap you off at $100 here no matter where you go. So I was about at one fourth when I filled up. There we go, we're full now. minutes that's all I'm gonna need. so I'm in like downtown I think like Frederick Maryland it's actually really cute over here pretty nice area look at this like gives me like old town vibes reminds me of the nice parts of Philly there's a thrift store here called select seconds yeah select seconds it's like a hospice thrift store so we'll see what's inside just pay for parking. Let's see what we can find. I'm gonna probably pick these up. Adrian Goldschmidt's pretty good brand. I like the leaf pattern on them. So 
So I think these are my first cop right here. Five bucks. I'm guessing at least 20 bucks from them. Yeah, I'm just gonna take these from the jeans section. There were some others that I was meh about, like there were some lucky brands. They were too small of a size, like size four, size six. Just so gonna pass. I'm gonna snag these as well. Six dollars. Black tag, five thirteens, three by thirty twos. Probably like it's twenty bucks. I like this nice little afghan, like a baby blanket. The colors are super cool. G1650. I think I can easily get 25 or 30 for it. Guys, okay, so pretty much thrift stores, you gotta pay up. You know, like these are not yard sale prices, so my ROI is gonna be the best. The goal is to make money though, and I can definitely make money on this. So Ray was actually a pretty decent sunglass brand. So like just like if it was a Ray-Ban case, I would buy it. I think a Revo case. It's a buck. Probably will sell for 10. I'm cool with that. Okay, so we're at the car now. $18 total. I comped these at the car to see what they're going for. These Levi's are selling for 25. These Adriana's are selling for about 30. So that's 55 there. I'm gonna sell these for 10 at 65. I'm gonna sell this Afghan for probably 25 as well. So that's 85.90. $90 at the first stop and I spent $18. I'm not gonna be like counting taxes and fees because no one has time for that math. So we'll just say we'll spend 20, we're gonna make 90. That's $70 profit at our first stop. Can't complain about that. Put a little dent on that 400 number. It's loud cars driving by. Uh, we're off to the next stop. I have no clue where it is. Probably gonna take an hour and a half, two hours from now. Somewhere middle of Maryland, maybe West Virginia. No, you're getting it. I'm about to leave, yeah. I was afraid you were gonna get hit. <laughs> On to the next adventure. So we are here in um, Cumberland, Maryland. Here's Horizon Goodwill. Look at this view, by the way, behind me. If you guys can see like the mountains and all this, and look at this view over here. Absolutely gorgeous. Also super hot outside right now. It's about 12 p.m. Also a little hungry and there's a buffet right there. So I might actually stop by the buffet, hit the Goodwill, stop by the buffet and get out of here. Yeah, let's go see what they have. I think I'm gonna grab this guy first. Three bucks. If he works, it's like $25. It's one of the motion centers. It's supposed to like play a saxophone. I'm gonna have to like, check the batteries when I get to the warehouse because nothing turns on here. But take a chance, three into maybe 25. Oh, oh, what? I'm also gonna snag these like mid century modern little sconces, wall decorations. They say three on them, but it's half off, so you can get two of them for three. You could probably sell this for 30 bucks as well. You got this pretty cool like suitcase cassette carrier. Just to get a little cleaning action happening or whatever, but it's four dollars, half off day, so it's two dollars. Looks like this one there inside probably needs a little more glue, but pretty cool. I think you put this in here, right? 
probably worth at least 20. So I'll take it for two. And next to another one. Also two bucks. Case Logic. It not look like it's the best, but I would still sell for 20 bucks. I'll take it as well. So look at the plush now. Got this like Hufflepuff, or whatever they call them. Disney Store, Purple Elephant. Has a little thing here, but I think it's from the wash and it'll wash off. Two bucks, half off day, so a dollar. Sells for about 15 on eBay, so I'll take it. Standing in line to check out, and I found this guy for a buck, and it's half off, 50 cents. Like a talking plush. Let's hear that. Sells for about $12 on eBay. 50 cents, 12 bucks. I'll take that. Still want to check out. Found another thing. This is from Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. $3. Older trolley. Pretty sure it's from Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Sells for about 15 20 bucks. I'll take it. Still in line, guys. <laughs> Found these guys. Pretty cool. Three bucks each. From 1973. It sells for about 15 to 20 each. If I can probably get 30 for the set. So they're half off. 3 into 30. I'll take it. Okay, so I spent a total of $19 at the store. I have around $165 in value. Okay, it's actually $130 in value now, $165. $165 was when I thought I had both constants, one of them broke. And I also overvalued some items when I actually comped them, they sold for a little less. So I have $130 in value instead of $165. 19, so let's say $20, $165. That's $145 profit at this Goodwill. Not too shabby, very happy with that. Alrighty, let me go get some food, let me get some gas, and then we'll go back on the road. So here's the great thing about buffets is that what I got, the price I'm probably gonna pay, I'm not sure I haven't paid yet, but I'm probably around like twelve dollars, which is the lunch price for buffets. It's pretty much we can get like a number one meal at McDonald's or Wendy's. The price is the same, but you get way more food. And as you see here, I cook in front of you. Look at this right here. Can't go wrong. As soon as I saw it in the area, I was like, yep, that's my spot. It doesn't take that long. You're in and out. You don't have to wait for your food to be ready. I'll be out in about 15 minutes. I'm back on the road. All righty, I am now in Morgantown, West Virginia. I believe I was here before. Last year when I was coming home from 127, I did a, like a similar thing where I stopped at a bunch of um, Goodwill and thrift stores and I think I stopped at this one. I definitely stopped in one in Morgantown, which is where I am now, and it was really, really good. So this is a little risky one right here. They want eight dollars for this little partner stand mixer. It does work, so that's good. But I only see new ones listed and sold. Nothing used. New ones sell for about eighty dollars. So I think probably sell for like forty-five, fifty. We'll see what happens. Got these nice Mizunos. Everything is intact on them. Pretty decent. Selling for seven bucks. I think they're at least 30 to 40 if I were to guess. I'm gonna look them up later, but seven bucks, not pretty clean. Take them. Nice little Brooks over here, Brooks Rebels, Rebel Fours. Tread is very clean, very happy with that. Also want seven dollars. Probably get at least 30 for these as well. Got this uh, 
ceramic tumbler. Four bucks. Twelve ounces. Works for me. Alright, so when I was waiting in line to check out, I looked at the Mizunos and the Brooks that I had. I'm probably gonna ask 45 for my Brooks, 55 for the Mizunos. That's a hundred bucks right there. I spent 28 total and worth their shoes. The mixer is another, I'll say 50. That's 150. And then the Star Works, Star Works, Starbucks, uh, thermal, uh, Tumblr, I'm gonna ask 24. So that's 170. Just say I spent 30 again, so it's be easier math. So that's 140 profit that we're gonna add so far. Almost at our goal. I think I'm gonna make at least one more stop. Possibly two more stops. We'll see what happens. We're in, say, when we just made it into West Virginia. So we'll see. Uh, maybe at least one or two more stops. And I feel pretty confident we can hit the 400. Finally made it to Charleston, West Virginia. Drove to like downtown and it's very pretty here. Very pretty city. I um, met a like, Goodwill, it looks pretty huge. Starts over there, so it goes all the way around and around and around. I wonder if it's like one huge building or not. If not, if it is, it might be something to be found in here, but uh, we'll see. It's already 5 p.m. I'm not sure if I have time for another one. This might be the last stop of the trip before I hit Lexington. I'm pretty uh, excited though. It's a big store. Hopefully there's something good inside. I don't usually like socks. They sell for about 25, 30 bucks, but these are four. Small size, but if I find the other one, I'll take it. This vintage West Virginia hat made in Taiwan. RFC, one size fits all. Page, you guys, with the brand. This is the masses, it's like on Swallabies. I don't know what that is. Qantas could be cool too. They could change two bucks. Pretty cool looking Kentucky tumbler. I want a buck for it. Probably get like 15 bucks for it. So pretty cool look. Vintage. I need the sprinkler, right? Animal sprinkler. Made by Tyco. Four bucks. I think that's worth it. Finally found some ornaments. Kurt Adler, two bucks. I'll take it. Uh, sport collector series, these usually sell between $15 and $20 for me. Uh, University of Maryland, it's brand new for a buck. I'll take it. These are kind of cool, but they want $5.50 for it. That is insane. Everything else is like a dollar, but they want $5.50 for these guys. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Is that a waiter's here? Fly fishing here. Oh, they look like brand new. Legit looks brand new. Only want five forty nine. And I'm definitely good. Alrighty, so we are outside now. So this whole big thing that I was super excited about is just the distribution center. There's nothing else in there. Goodwill is just from there to there. But still, they're pretty good, man. If I lived around here, I'd probably go to this Goodwill almost every day because their prices are so good. But it looked like it was picked over, like all the good stuff was gone. But if I live around here, if you guys live in Charleston, West Virginia, I don't know where I am, but the Goodwill here is good. Goodwill is good. Let me give you the, the exact street, I guess. It'll probably be helpful, right? Virginia Street, 215 Virginia Street, Charleston. Really good, really good Goodwill. Uh, at least the prices wise. So if you guys live around here, definitely check it out. And I think it's gonna be the last, my, my last stop. It's getting late already and i am still pretty far away from uh, <laughs> uh my destination still three hours from from where am i supposed to be so i think this is i'm gonna call it here we can get up finish the three hours and we will go from there 
Alrighty guys, so we're back at the warehouse now. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it's a completely different style of video from what you guys are used to seeing from me. I had so much fun recording it and editing it. I think in the future, if you guys like this kind of content, any time that I travel for a highway sale, I will do a similar style of video and I hope you guys enjoy those as well. So at the last stop, we spent another $20 on all the items that I got. I had about $150 in sales. So that means I had a $130 profit, which means that I was $50 over my goal. So my goal is to make 400, I made $450 just driving down to Kentucky. So in my mind, the trip is gonna be paid for, or at least eventually paid for when those items do eventually sell. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me guys. Thank you like always for taking time out of your day and choosing to spend these 20 minutes with me. I truly do appreciate it. Here is my dog, Sasha. Peace out.